Travers. Oh darn no! If only I had a bucket attached to my head, I wouldn't have dropped all my twigs, grass, and feathers. It sure would make my life uh, a whole lot easier. Hey, uh, Trav, is there, a, is there an animal that's got a bucket attached to its head? Uh, not with a bucket. But there is an animal that does use its beak for a multitude of different reasons. Kind of like a bucket. Oh, what a lot, gee whiz! Can we learn about that animal? Of course! This week we're talking about the pelican. The pelican has the longest bill out of any of the birds. It can grow up to 18 inches long, and underneath there's a pouch that can hold up to three gallons of water. Also, pelicans have no nostrils. They breathe out of their beak. The pelican also knows a thing or two about teamwork. They'll form a U and drive the fish into the shallow water by beating their wings. And guess what? Touchdown! They all got a nice tasty seafood meal. The brown pelican, on the other hand, dives on fish from above and ensnares it right into its bill. Pelicans have a big appetite, and they can eat up to four pounds of fish a day. They've also been known to eat turtles, crustaceans, and tadpoles. And if they get hungry enough, They've even been known to eat seagulls. During the breeding season, both the male and female pelicans will carry nesting materials in their beak, such as twigs, grass, and feathers. The nest is often hollow in the sand with a ring of sticks, and sand scrapes around the outside. The parents will take turns, carrying for one to six bluish-white eggs, laid days apart on top of their feet. The eggs will hatch in the order they're laid, and the first chick to hatch is always the larger, and often attacks its little siblings to get most of the food. Neener, neener, neener. Give me some mm. of that apple! Oh, I'll give an apple. <laughs> what is all Mom! I can't imagine not having an apple. <laughs> Chicks hatch with their eyes closed, a stubby bill, and their bare pink skin. Within days, their eyes will open. They'll start to grow their first down feathers and their bill lengths. The chicks aren't fed from the pouch. Instead, the mom will open its mouth wide and allow the baby birds to pick right out of the gullet. The poor parents must feed their chicks up to 30 times a day for the first month. It takes a little while for a young pelican to learn how to use that large bill without it getting snagged on sharp rocks. Mom, we've only been fed 29 times today. When are we gonna get our last meal? I'm starving. I've only been fed 26 times. In North America, the brown pelican was just recently removed from the critically endangered species list. They were greatly affected by DDT, which weakened their eggs and devastated their population. This is the same problem the peregrine falcon had. Luckily, we were able to recover their population and have it moving in the right direction. There's still some work yet to be done, though. Thanks for checking us out this week, Travelers. This week's honorary traveler is Traveler Mike, who wrote into Travelers at TrapsTravels.org and requested the Pelican. Hey, thanks, Mike! If you're as cool as Mike, make sure to email us and let us know what animal you want to learn more about. If you want to learn more about a Pelican's bill, make sure to check out TrapsTravels.org and visit our Facebook and Twitter page. As always, keep on traveling.